Yesterday, the market closed as a bull channel into the close, though the bull channel was a variation of an expanding triangle, which is not a strong bull channel. Today opens as a big gap up above that bull channel. A bull breakout above a bull channel has a high probability of failing and testing the bottom of the bull channel. In rare cases, the bull breakout of the bull channel gets follow-through and gets continued buying to create a new, stronger, and steeper bull channel. Today on the 30-minute chart, the market has been in a trading range for the past five days. A prolonged trading range in a bull trend is often a final flag before a correction, which can be a minor correction on the daily chart, keep in mind. Context for today's open. Today opens as a gap up above the trading range. Expect an early breakout test and enter long if the test is successful. Otherwise, look for an early short for a likely test near the bottom of the range. After bar 1 closes near its low and below the top of the trading range on the 30-minute chart, it's reasonable to conclude the breakout of the trading range on the higher time frame failed. If you were not confident, you could have also shorted below the bar 2 doji. If bulls were strong here, they would have brought the market back above the top of the trading range. The first pullback after a strong trend leg usually fails and leads to at least a second leg down. One reliable way to catch it is to take a low 2 short. Below bar 6 is the low 1 short, triggered by bar 7. Bar 8 starts the second pullback, so it's reasonable to trail a stop limit order below bars starting from bar 8, then below bar 9, and below bar 10. Bar 11 fills the low 2 short entry. If price moves in your direction, but then retraces back beyond your entry price, I recommend moving the profit target to one tick beyond break-even to cover commissions and get out. The most reliable entry is usually below a good signal bar at the moving average. Take profits by the bottom of the expanding triangle bull channel. Whenever there is a bull breakout of a bull channel or a bear breakout of a bear channel and the market reverses to test the channel line, it will usually try to resume the original trend. I mentioned in the first video in this series that an II is often a final flag when it appears late in a trend. In this case, we have great context for a short because the bull trend is forming an II near the 50% pullback area of the first bear trend leg. All signs here point to the bull trend being a bear flag, short below a bear bar after the II. If price moves in your direction, but then retraces back beyond your entry price, I recommend moving the profit target to one tick beyond break-even to cover commissions and get out. I have mentioned the first pullback after a bear breakout is likely to fail. This applies on both a larger scale and a smaller scale. After seven bear bars in a row, it's reasonable to short the close of bull bar 45. The concern is that the market is close to the low of the day, bar 19 low. So a safer strategy is to wait until the market breaks below the low of day and has follow through. After bar 50 breaks below the bar 19 low of the day, I wait until the close of the next bar to see if it has follow-through, which means it also needs to close beyond the breakout bar. Notice the big tail above bar 51 as bulls tried to buy the bar 50 close and prevent follow-through. Usually, there is an attempt at a breakout test after the follow-through bar. It's reasonable to short below bars after the breakout test. Notice the tails above bars 52 and 53. Since the market has successfully broken below the prior low of the day swing pivot and the bottom of the trading range on the higher time frame, it's reasonable to hold for a measured move down of the range. Most moves occur in a leg 1, pullback, then leg 2 sequence. It can be difficult to discern when the pullback will occur in order to take profits on this breakout trade since there are no weekly or monthly levels below. 
One way to exit is to look for a failed low 2 short, such as after bar 75 triggers the low 2 below 74, but then closes as a perfect doji near the high of the bar. On the higher time frame, the market has not reached a measured move down from the breakout below the trading range. The market will likely do that in the overnight session or tomorrow. Since there will be profit taking at the measured move target, it's reasonable to look for a major trend reversal bottom, double bottom or inverse head and shoulder to occur near that level.